Beautiful tonight in your dress. Thank you. And your body looks fantastic. Do you have a workout plan? Oh, um, gosh, my workout plan's all over the place, but it all works for me. Um, yes, I, I do some Pilates, I do some cardio, yoga I get a little bored with, <laughs> but I know a lot of people love it. I like to be more active. I like hiking, I like biking, I like climbing and getting my nails dirty. Do you have a favorite spot to, to go hiking? Um, in LA, it varies, it depends. Um, usually I do like Bronson Canyon. Um, I love it up there in the hills. Um, but I live in Vancouver as well, because that's where we film. So I hike the mountains around there every now. I heard your, a new season of your show got picked up. What can we expect from your character? I have no idea. I really don't. I have no idea. We're off to Neverland, so we'll see what what Neverland has in store for us. And you recently just got engaged. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. It's been such a thing tonight. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's, it's beautiful. How, how did he ask you? That's private. <laughs> excited are you to host this, the Gracies, tonight? I'm very excited. I feel so honored to be amongst all these fantastic women. Do you very have honored. a woman that inspires you? I do. I have many. Um, three are here with me this evening. My family. I'm related to them. Uh, my aunt, my mother, and my sister are all here for a reason. Um, so I, they are my, you know, number one supporters in everything I've ever done. Uh, so they've inspired me to be who I am and to follow my dreams. Um, and then more celebrities, I would say uh, Lucille Ball, uh, I would say Barbara Walters. Um, I love uh, Glenn Close. I think from you know an actor standpoint, I just love everything she does. Um, many, 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 many. I know, there's, I have a list and I knew I would forget many of the names, but. Advice for women out there today? Um, don't be afraid of your voice to get it out there. Let it be heard. Uh, follow your heart because it always knows. Well, thank you so much. Have You're welcome. Night. Thank you. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Good. Thank you. you are seriously stunning. It looks great. I, I feel like I'm glowing tonight. I'm so you happy. Look like you're glowing. Thank you. So, when they asked you to be the host, what was your first reaction? Uh, yes, <laughs> absolutely. Um, I didn't know if I could do it, but you know, one thing I take solace in, is, or find solace in rather, is that I'm amongst so many incredible women and they're supporting me as much as I'm supporting them. So that comforts me. Uh, yeah. So your character is probably one of the most powerful women on television right now. Tell me what it's like to play that. <laughs> it's, it's, it's an incredible. It's an inc it's it's incredible. It's um, you know there's a. I think what I'm learning in playing her is that there's a responsibility that comes in with playing this character that I don't think I understood until the show started becoming very popular and then I started seeing what was coming my way and then I realized wow, I have a major impact on a lot of the youth and young women and I've inspired so many women and so with that you know is there's now a newfounded love and joy in playing this character but also just it makes me want to get more involved really? in helping people and helping young women and helping them find their voice and I've helped a lot of um, you know people in the LGBT community come out and say you know thank you for everything you've done for us yeah. you I used to hate being who I am, 
And watching your performance and just watching you in certain interviews has helped me, you know, just take pride and love who I am. Yeah. And I never knew that I can have that impact on the world. Yeah. You know, so I feel really honored to be here tonight. But I also feel like I belong here. That's awesome. That's good. Yeah. That's, yeah. A, you know, that's very honest as well. And do you, who do you look up to in the industry? So many. Um, gosh, you know, if you go back into time, Lucille Ball, and I'll be talking about that tonight. Uh, Barbara Walters, who in her retirement said, you know, women keep going out there, and I want to see these women sitting in my seat, yeah. doing what I'm doing, keep going, keep fighting and keep succeeding. And um, I love her. Yeah, <laughs> um, me too. You know, when you think of you know, Catherine Bigelow and you think of, you know, some of the women that are going to be here tonight, like Melissa Etheridge, who's battled breast cancer and who shares her life um, with us and who cares about us. Um, think about Angelica Houston, who's going to be here. I think she's coming in here tonight. I hope she's, I don't know if she is, but I hope she is. I heard she was, but I love After her. party. I know. Well, I, there was rumors that she was coming, and if she is, I'm very much looking forward to that. Um, but there are tons of women that I look up to, from, uh, gosh, the CEO of uh, Facebook. What's her name? Uh, I know what you're talking about. Anyway, I'm losing yes, it there's yeah. so many. But uh, like Ann Sweeney, who I work for. Yeah. And um, anyway, it, it's an honor to be amongst these women tonight. So. I'm with Lana Perilla host of tonight's event, recently engaged, once upon a time just been renewed for the fourth season. It's been a great month. It doesn't get better, does it? <laughs> Maybe, but no, it's, it's been a fantastic month. I understand you're wearing your ring for the first time. I, uh, well, we... on the red carpet, yes. Can we see it? Can you show it to the camera? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, what does it mean to be hosting event that's such a remarkable event for women in the industry oh gosh it's uh it's feel it's it's such an honor to be here tonight i you know it's funny when i was invited to host it took a little bit to get to me and i didn't i don't know why but um the last email was we're waiting to hear back is she interested and i thought how come I'm hearing about this so late? Of course I'm interested. I feel like I'm in a sisterhood where, you know, even if I love, it's okay. Well, you look amazing. And congratulations on your show, your Thank engagement, you. and good luck tonight. Thank you. First of all, you're hosting. I know, it's wild. How did that come about? Did you just get like a phone call one morning and you're like, hey, you're going to be a host? Kind of. I mean, there was a couple emails passed around. By the time it got to me, I was like, the, the last letter was, so is she interested? And I said, oh my God, yes, of course. I didn't know that they had been trying. So <laughs> I felt so, I, I felt bad that we got back to them a couple days too late, but I jumped right on it and said, I couldn't imagine a, a bigger honor. And absolutely, I would love to host tonight's event. Honoring women in media, it's such a huge thing. It's, we're talking to everyone, it's no longer a men's world. You guys are really, you know, standing up and taking power and, and really, being the strong, beautiful, and hardworking women that you guys are. The salt of the earth women. Um, how, how do you prepare to be the host? Are you roasting anyone? <laughs> I'm not roasting anyone. You're not going to roast? <laughs> I don't think so. No? I don't think it's a night for that. <laughs> Maybe another, another award show. Um, you know, it's uh, preparing is, you know, they wanted a two-minute speech. I wrote that. Um, I think it's really about talking about the women who have inspired me. It's important to celebrate them. And who is to, your biggest inspiration? Oh gosh, aside from my mother and my sister and my aunt, people I'm related to, um, I do come from an incredible family filled with strong women and, and I would say that they have been the most inspiring. Um, but in media, um, I would say Lucille Ball, uh, I would say Glenn Close has inspired me. Um, she's incredible. Even Angelina Jolie. She's so she's a powerhouse. That woman and fearless. And um, I would say Barbara Walters. Uh, the list is huge. The list is huge. The list is huge. <laughs> Let's talk about the show. Once upon a time. Mm -hmm. First of all, exciting. What can we be expecting from it? as the show progresses. Give us a spoiler alert. I can't. I know nothing. Nothing? Nothing. Uh, other than we're off to Neverland. 
but I have no idea what's in store for us there. And what have you learned from your character as a woman? So much. I learned that it's okay to be flawed and that it's okay to not have all the answers and that being complex is a beautiful thing. Um, I learned so much from her. Sometimes some of the lessons I learned I don't like learning. Um, but I think she learns lessons from me too. So it's a give and take. Beautiful. Are you on the whole social media front? Facebook, Twitter? I, I, won't, be, I won't be able to follow you. Let's plug it in. What's your Twitter? <laughs> Lana Perea. <laughs> At Lana Perea. Make sure you follow her. She is... Two R's, two L's. All right, so first things first, you are looking absolutely incredible with the pink and the eyes. Everything matches. Who inspired your look tonight? <laughs> My team. I have an awesome, awesome team. Um, I trust them. I really do. And they are all artists. Nice. True artists, and that's what I love about them, and that's why we all work together. Um, and so we, we kind of all work together in that sense and come up with a, a great next look for the red carpet, and this is it. Well, it's definitely working. Get a shot of this. This is very nice. Thank you. Very nice. And this, everything is working here, guys. <laughs> all right. And you're also hosting the night's event. Tell us about the event tonight, what's going on. It's the Gracies, and we are celebrating and honoring all fantastic, intelligent, beautiful, strong, powerful women in media. Awesome. And also the new show, what, well, I guess it's not really new anymore, but Once Upon a Time, all about twisted kind of fairy tales. What was your favorite fairy tale as a kid? Hansel and Gretel. Okay. Ooh. Well, that's because I couldn't eat sugar, and I loved all the candy, <laughs> and I would fantasize about being lost in that forest myself. Nope. Absolutely. I definitely have a sweet tooth, so if you could have one food only for the rest of your life, what would it be? Barbecue ribs. Well, there you go. Four burgers. <laughs> I'm a meat lover. I am. All right. No vegetarian <laughs> here, guys. <laughs> Once in a while. <laughs> well, thanks for talking to us. Good luck You're Hi, I'm Lana Priya from Once Upon a Time, and I love Ambiance Magazine. We're here with the host of tonight's event. Once Upon a Time, there was a young actress who was able to get on the ABC show that's been a hit all over the place, and now she's here at the 30th Annual Grace hosting Miss Lana Priya. How are you doing tonight? I'm awesome. You look fantastic. Thank oh you. my goodness. I mean, as you guys can see right here, look at this lovely stunning lady right here. <laughs> How's it feel to be called up to host such a prestigious award show that's been catering to women for the past almost 40 years now? Yeah, I um, I feel so honored on so many levels. I'm most excited to celebrate all these women, um, to honor them and to celebrate their successes. And uh, you know, I, I know that I'm in a room where I am fully supported. Right. So, um, being a host of a show is, well, this is my first time ever doing something like this. So, of course, there are a bunch of nerves that come with that, but well, I find... We know that you can actually handle the nerves as well. I think I'll be, I think I'll be okay. The only thing I'm worried about is the teleprompter, because the words are a bit smaller than I expected them to be. <laughs> so, um, that, but you know what? I know that I'm uh, in a room filled with incredible women that are there supporting me as obviously as much as I'm supporting them. All right, exactly. What well, we're probably going to do is get a big, huge magnifying glass in front of the teleprompter to kind of help everybody out to get you out. Or I'm going to be wearing glasses for the rest of the night. <laughs> and she'll look stunning in the glasses as well. Thank you. All right, the host of tonight's event, Ms. Lana Faria, catch her on ABC's Once Upon a Time and catch the show on Ovation. Right here, you'll see her on stage just hand it to everybody. <laughs> Thank you, lovely to meet you. I really love this. I really love your show. I mean, Thank what, what you. can I say? You know? yeah. yeah, you can choose the same pen. Okay. 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 Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I'm exhausted, and I'm, I'm sure you are. Get going. Lana, yeah, last one, please. please. We waited all night. We thought you were long gone. Please, please Lana. Is it in black? I'll do black. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah I'll give her a black pen. I'm sorry. Who's pen? I didn't know I was going to be here. Uh, you're the hosting. hosting. You're the hosting. Yeah. Oh, I didn't look at the internet. Okay. We kept her from him. We got to go. Let me get one. Thank you. We haven't done one for me. Thank you. Can I get a photo with you really quickly on this one? Yeah, there you go. Real nope, fast. that's it. Thank you. Okay. Hey, Jim, Jim, Jim. Jim, Jim, oh, Jim. Jim. Thank you. Thank you. That's a photo there. Can I go on real quick? Real sure. quick. Oh, Daryl, right here. Okay, I'll just sure. go over there. What's wrong with you, Jim? <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Thank you.